some sort of a bullish candle. So then at least you can say, okay, now at least I know where my stop loss is going to be. It's going to be below that candle. Or when it reaches resistance, you're saying, okay, you know, now my stop loss is going to be above that candle. Because at least now you know where your stop is going to be. Because once you know where your stop is going to be, you can say, that, okay, now I can probably identify my risk based on your stop loss. All right, let's go over probabilities. We've talked a lot about probabilities here. Now we're going to do an example here. So, oh, we're something here. <clears throat> so, we have this big candle here, right? Big candle move. Now, one, now let's see, let's say that we came to this chart, right? And we have this big candle move. So now, you got to ask yourself that how could you have taken this trade, right? What could, what, Basically, I think we've missed this trade. When we see a big candle, it basically means we've missed this trade, right? There's no trade because if we would have taken a trade, this big candle was the trade. So now we're going to wait to see what happens next or what the next candle prints, right? So now we have a bearish candle forming. What do we do here? So does this mean that the next candle is going to move up? Or is this a retest? Because this candle is bearish, right? So if we're looking for buys, we want some sort of a candle forming support so we can say, okay, you know what? If this was a breakout of this resistance, then we need a bullish candle forming here and then seeing that, okay, we form support for us to move up, right? Because we are patient traders. We are all good traders and we are waiting for confirmations, right? We're not trading for Instagram. We're trading to make money. Right? We're trading for ourselves. That's what we're doing. That's the number one thing. You're not trading for Instagram. You're not trading to show off. You're trading to show off for yourself. So we're going to wait. Now look what happened. Right? You have, we waited for the next candle. Now what will happen is that some people will try to take buys while this candle is moving up. But the key is that the candle has not closed. Right? The candle has not closed. So look where it closed. It closed at this resistance. So what do you do? Nothing. You just wait. You just wait to see what the next candle is going to do. Because this candle is obviously bullish, right? But it's closing below resistance. So if you're looking for buys, you're at resistance. But if you're looking for sells, the candle is not bearish. It's bullish. So you got to wait for the next candle. Let's see what happens. Now we have a bearish candle, right? So now. A lot of people here in the chat, they're probably thinking that, okay, you know what? We formed resistance, right? We And this bearish candle, it closed below all these candles, right? And now, if we keep a stop above here, we have a potential move down. So now, where, where are we going to move till? We're probably going to move till this area down here, right? So, what's the probability? that price is going to continue moving down rather than it moving up and stopping us out over here. What's the probability? Now some people, what they're going to do is they're probably going to keep a stop about here or uh, conservative people, what they're going to do is they're probably going to keep a stop about here. So now it's all about probability, right? Let's see what happens. There's a high probability that's going to continue moving down, then it's going to continue moving up. Right? So let's see what happens on the next candle. So we're still in this trade. We haven't stopped out. We haven't just stopped out, right? Because your condition of this trade is that as long as price is below the high of this bearish candle, we should be continuing moving down, right? Most times what's going to happen is guys are probably going to take some percentage of the position off because now you have a bullish candle, but you're still kind of waiting to see that, okay, you know what? It hasn't really broken above that area, so there is some sort of a chance that's going to continue moving down. Or, hey, maybe the next candle is going to stop us out. So let's see what happens next candle. Look what happens. The probability, it decreased and we got stopped out. We got stopped out because, hey, that was the probability of the trade not working out. Is that normal? Yeah, absolutely. It's normal. It's going to happen less time than it's not going to happen, which means that, that in this condition, this will work out 60 to 70 percent of the time. And then, obviously, you're going to have those odds, those probabilities that it's not going to happen. So what do you do when you take a loss? You take this loss and you say, okay, you know what? This was the probability of me taking that loss, so it's all okay. It's all good, right? Because you followed your plan, you waited for prices to close, you had resistance, 
and then you know what happened maybe like you know maybe this was a support and then they can